So guys, we are back with yet another First Descendant video. And in this video, guys, I bring you a complete guide on how you can unlock Ultimate Valby. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. Now, do you guys want to win an Ultimate Descendant or the equivalent in that caliber? Well, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my First Descendant videos, the more of a chance you have of winning winning all winners are announced over on my discord because unlike some my giveaways are actually real now i will pick winners and announce them at the end of the week so good luck to everybody also guys you should definitely be joining my discord anyway i'm trying to build an amazing first descendant army okay so ultimate valby is the newest addition in regards to descendants to the first descendant there's an absolute ton of grind here if you plan on grinding for Ultimate Valby. But in today's guide, people, I bring you the quickest and fastest ways to farm each individual material to research Ultimate Valby. Okay, so Ultimate Valby and the research that goes into her consists of four individual parts. Now, each part besides the last blueprint requires four parts as well. So we have the Ultimate Valby Enhanced Cells, we have the Ultimate Valby Stabilizer, we have the Ultimate Valby Spiral Catalyst, and then lastly guys, we have the Ultimate Valby Code. So all but the Ultimate Valby Code require individual parts to research. So we're going to start with the Ultimate Valby Enhanced Cells. So this requires Eruption, Compound, Coating Materials, Conductive Metallic Foils, as well as the Ultimate Valby Enhanced Cells Blueprint. So let's start with a Repton. So a Repton is obtained from Kingston resource boxes. And I mean, it's super easy to come across, but if I were you, I'd definitely go to the Grand Square area upon Kingston, run around scanning guys, and you'll find loads of this material within these containers. You'll also get the Nomad Shards too for doing this, which are needed for a later material in the Ultimate Valby Spiral Catalyst. But yeah, with these reptons, you need 949, but doing this, you'll get them in no time. Okay, so next up, guys, we need 538 of the compound coating materials. So the compound coating materials is obtained from storage boxes across the Echo Swamp. A great place we farm these is within the abandoned zoned area. Spawning here and within this small area, guys, there are loads of these containers you'll find via scanning. The good thing about this spot is also you get these silicon, which is also needed for the ultimate Valby stabilizer. So yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, so next up, guys, we need 75 of the conductive metallic foils. So with this, you have two ways of farming these, the latter being the better. Now, your first option is via killing random mission monsters across Vespers. I was getting a bit of luck within the last supply depot area capture base mission. But the best way of getting these, in my opinion, is to farm the Vesper vaults. Now for these you will obviously need those cold breakers and analyzers but there are multiple different ways of getting these mainly just playing the game farming via the many popular farming spots which if you ain't aware of i'll link some of the best in the video description but once you have these guys the best spot i know of to get these vaults is within the timber 4 area on vespers the path i take on screen now you'll come across four vaults uh, here now they ain't guaranteed to be here but the spots i shoot at is where they can spawn so basically run this area guys travel elsewhere come back repeat until you get as many as you need Okay, so next up guys, we have the Ultimate Valby Enhanced Cells Blueprint. 
So to get this guys, you need to first get the amorphous materials to get that small chance of receiving this item. Now there are a few different ways, but in my opinion, the easiest and quickest way for most players would to firstly go to the Hagias Old Mystery Mission. Uh, this will guarantee upon completion the amorphous pattern material of 44. Once you have this guys, you then want to go and fight and defeat the Swamp Walker boss on that normal mode. Then use this pattern to have that 6% chance of getting this enhanced sales blueprint for Ultimate Valby. Chances are low, but I've had worse come through quite often. Now once you have the required materials here guys, you can now go and research the ultimate Valby enhanced cells. This will be one of four parts completed. Okay so next up guys, we have the ultimate Valby stabilizer. This consists of silicon, helium, heat plasma batteries as well as the ultimate Valby stabilizer blueprint. So first things first, these silicon and we need 969 of these. So as I mentioned earlier, if you needed to farm the compound quality material, you'd also get the silicon too. So the same place guys is where it's best in my opinion to run this and that is the abandoned zone upon Echo Swamp. Load in, run around scanning guys, open those containers and you'll get plenty of these silicons. Next up guys, you need 682 of that Helion. So to get these in abundance, you want to come to the Fallen Ark area within Fortress. Here guys, again, run around this small area, scanning away, finding and opening those containers, and you'll get as many as these as you need quite quickly. Next up guys, you need 166 of the Heat Plasma batteries. So there are a couple of ways you can get these. My favourite way is to do the Haven mission upon Hagias. Halfway through this mission, whether you choose to do it on normal or hard, normal mode makes more sense because you'll get through quicker, but there will be an elite enemy who drops this material for you. You can then abort and restart the mission or simply just finish the mission, get its rewards and then restart the mission guys. But do this until you get as many of these. It'll probably take a few runs, but it's your best bet in my opinion. Okay, so next up guys, we need the Ultimate Valby Stabilizer Blueprint. So the quickest way and easiest way in my opinion to get this is obviously first get the amorphous pattern. There are a couple of ways of doing this but I feel the amorphous pattern material of 30 is the easiest one to get and then use. This drops with a 100% drop rate from the Caligo Ashuri, does that say Ashari mission upon Agnya Desert. Now upon you getting a few of these which you may want to do, you can then go ahead and use this amorphous pattern material after you defeat the Devourer on that normal mode for a chance of getting this blueprint to drop. Again, chances are low, so best of luck to ya. Okay, so once you have those materials all in all, guys, you can now research the Ultimate Valby Stabilizer. That's two or four parts done. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Ultimate Valby Spiral Catalyst. This consists of mono shards, semi-permanent plasmas, the macromolecule biogels, as well as the Ultimate Valby Spiral Catalyst Blueprint. Okay, so first things first, Nomad Shards, you need 554 of these. So as I mentioned earlier on the video guys, when you was farming that Repton, farming containers within the Grand Square in Kingston is amazing for these Nomad Shards at the same time. So do what you gotta do to get these. Next up guys, we need 652 of the semi-permanent plasmas. These are a material that come from the storage containers of Hunt Vespers. I feel the best spot to farm these is within the Team Before area as they are all over the place. So come here, run around scanning and you'll get more than enough of these. Next up guys, we need 242 of the Macro Molecule Biogels. So the Echo Swamp Derelict Culver Areas at Zone Recon Mission is great for this particular material. So come here, complete the Zone Recon Mission and a boss will drop you these. It will take you a few runs but since they've patched and the cooldown timer is a lot quicker on the Zone Recon Missions, you should get these in no time at all. Okay so and lastly in this section we need the Ultimate Valby Spiral Catalyst Blueprint. So to get this guys requires a amorphous pattern material. The best way in my opinion to get this and the easiest way to farm it is from the Echo Swamp Chapel mission. Upon you completing this it gives you a 100% drop chance rate for the pattern material of 23. Farm this a few times so you have a few of them people and then guys you want to take on a dead bride void boss on that normal mode. Upon you taking her out you can then use this pattern material to get yourself a chance of getting the ultimate Valby spiral catalyst blueprint. Okay so once you have these said materials you can now research the ultimate Valby spiral catalyst and that's three or four parts done people. Okay so lastly guys you need the ultimate Valby code. 
Now there are a few different ways to get this via the amorphous pack materials tied to it, but in my opinion the easiest way for most players would be by doing the Abyssal Void Fusion Reactor upon Hagias and using the amorphous pack material of 110. Now this amorphous pack material has a 25% drop rate chance from the Hagias Corrupted Zone Area Zone Recon mission. This has to be done on hard, but it's real easy to storm through and farm again thanks to the, well, not the latest patch, but the patch before, they basically reduced the cooldowns on these zone recon missions, so you can farm this basically every minute. Simple as that. Now, once you have a few of these, you can then use them within a void mission uh, up on the same area of the corrupted zone on Hagias. This is the void fusion reactor mission. Now, to start, this requires 35 organic void shards and 10 inorganic void shards. Now these are obtained via various different places for different descendants, as I'm sure you're well aware. On every destination there are void fragment missions which require certain types of skills to start. There are multiple for each descendant, which indeed they will reward you such materials upon completion. So it's about finding the one you need for the descendant you are on, which you are rewarded organic shards and inorganic shards from, so you can start this void reactor mission. Now the Void Fragment missions which reward these shards are normally very very short so once you find the ones you need you can farm them in no time at all. But once you have the shards guys you can then go and start the Void Fusion Reactor mission, take out the enemy and then use that amorphous pattern. And well best of luck to you because you're probably going to need it. But once you have all the required materials guys or what we've covered today you can now research Ultimate Valby. It's quite a grind, but I'm sure you'll get there in the end. And again, best of luck to you. And there we have it, guys. An ultimate guide on how to get ultimate Valby. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.